cat was just meowing. Let's hope that she's not loud during this video. I'm pretty sure she'll probably be quiet. Are you sure about that? Hey guys, it's Sierra. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. So today is a crazy day because I'm using my new camera. I'm sure that this video looks beautiful. Hopefully I look beautiful. <laughs> You know, high definition camera means that you can see high definition pores, and we're just not about that, actually. Thank you. Gosh, they're yelling at my other cat. God, these cats are just, they're just doing a lot today, aren't they? They're just doing the most. But hey guys, I'm so sorry that I've been gone so much. Uh, I just could not find it in me to make a video. I've had a really rough couple of months, and I couldn't do it. And I hope that you guys understand that and that you guys are fine with that. And if you're not fine with that, sorry, but I don't know what to tell you because... Um, sorry, I guess. I don't know. But I'm back now and here we are about to make our video. So today's video, I wanted to talk about my 2018, my experiences, the lessons that I've learned, um, how I've grown as a person and so on and so forth. And then in 2019, the goals that I want to set, not New Year's resolutions, but more goals because I feel like when you set New Year's resolutions they don't really happen. You're just like, oh, I want to work out more. Like, I'm going to lose 20 pounds, but then you don't. Like, you get a weekend and you're just like, ah, oh, Chick-fil-A is open and I don't have any food in the house, so I'm going to go to Chick-fil-A and not go to the gym. And that's what happens with New Year's resolutions. So, instead of resolutions, I'm going to set goals. All right, first off, I want to talk about my 2018 lessons that I've learned and um, just kind of a wrap up of 2018. I think 2018 was one of the hardest years of my life so far. It was a really difficult year for me because... What? What is it? Are you done? Let me, let me just like <clears throat> go away from the camera a little bit because I feel like I'm just like suffocating you guys and I don't mean to do that and I'm really sorry. Okay, so 2018 was probably one of the most difficult years of my life so far. There were a lot of ups and downs. Some ups included um, starting film and uh, getting my job at GCU TV and also probably going on a big trip with my family to see my relatives in another state, going to multiple concerts with all of my friends and making films. Those are just the big things that I found super happy about 2018. What? Why do you keep interrupting me, huh? She's just gonna make a muck of this video, isn't she? She's just being loud and crazy. Anyways, so those were my highs of 2018, and I'm sure I'm missing a few. Oh, fun fact, I didn't write like all of my favorite parts of 2018 down. I'm just kind of going off the top of my head because I think that that's kind of fun for like the year. I didn't wanna like script this video at all. I'm just going. It's just happening, it's just coming out of my soul, so I hope that you're fine with that <laughs> because that's how it's going today. Anyways, um, and then, some lows of 2018 would have to be losing one of my best friends, Ashley. That's probably one of the hardest things that I've had to go through and just deal with it and try to move forward in life and that's been really difficult and I'm still not fully over it and I don't think I'll ever be over it because you can't really get over somebody being taken. Anyways, um, some more lows of 2018 would have to include second-guessing myself with creativity, wondering if I am supposed to be a filmmaker, am I, am I good enough to be a filmmaker, am I creative enough? You know, all of the bad things that you go through, they make you stronger. You're able to build on top of who you are. It gives you character. It adds character. All of the heroes in these big movies and these books and everything like that, they go through a lot. And that's why people like the heroes, because they have character to them, they have dynamic, they've been through things, and, and that's just kind of what life is. It's going through a lot of things, it's, it's waves of happiness and it's waves of sadness, and there's never going to be a time when there are no waves at all. There's never going to be a time when it's specifically only happy waves. There's always going to be ups and downs, but I guess the whole point of life is trying to navigate through that and what the lesson is. So without further ado, we're going to get into the lessons I learned in 2018. The biggest lesson that I learned of 2018 is that everybody's life is borrowed time. Nobody on this earth is gonna be here forever, so you have to really 
show people how you feel, how much you love them. And I didn't really understand that. And now I know that time is never promised. Somebody can be gone in an instant. Any moment that you see somebody could be the last moment that you see them. I think that that's matured me a lot in kind of understanding that it's hard, but you just have to live every moment to the fullest. And so that's probably the biggest thing I've learned in 2018. Come here. Oh, there she is. Oh, there she is. You wanna say hi? This is Big Booty. She's a big booty. She we named her we named her Rocket because she's really fast. But my mom calls her Big Booty because she has a, a big uh, treasure chest, if you know what I mean. Because you know, booty. They put booty in the treasure chest. <laughs> You know I'm so funny, thank you. <laughs> I think the second biggest thing I've learned is to stop comparing myself to others. I think this has been a big thing my entire life. And it's something that you don't just wake up and stop doing. And I know everybody does it, but it's just kind of difficult. Especially when you feel like everybody else is doing so many great things, but what are you doing? And I realized that in the time that you are comparing yourselves to others, you could take that time and better yourself. Uh, work on your craft, persevere, motivate yourself, and do it. Do it. Do, do it. it. Instead of sitting there and comparing yourselves to others all the time, wishing you were them, why don't you take pride in who you are and do what you're destined to do? What? Do you want to be, what? Oh, let me grab her. Let me get this kitty. Where are you at? Here, go on. Go on your way. Back to the video. Sorry, we just keep getting sidetracked by these kitty cats. You know, you just always get sidetracked by the pussy, am I right? Shut the hell up! Shut up! I might cut that joke out. I shouldn't have said that, but I did. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Another lesson I learned in 2018 is to be vulnerable sometimes. A lot of the time, I don't like being vulnerable in front of people. I don't like talking about my emotions, especially on camera, but here I am. I learned from a lot of my creative friends that it's completely okay to feel things and to show your emotions. A lot of the time I don't like to show my emotions because I feel like when you show your emotions it's easy for someone to take advantage of you and think that you are not strong, that you're a weak person, but I've learned that that isn't true. That everybody has emotions and it's completely okay to talk about your feelings and to show it and I sound so corny don't I but it's true anyways I want to talk about 2019 what I hope for this year what uh, some goals I have are and so on and so forth so let's talk about 2019 shall we I have really good feelings about this year I have really strong emotions that this is gonna be a good year you know all these people on Twitter or on like Instagram or Snapchat or all these things they always post on New Year's and they say oh this is gonna be my year like this is gonna be my year but like I've never really felt like that I've just kind of been like oh it's a new year new me but not really I've just kind of been like oh it's a new year like let's do better kind of a thing but this year I actually feel it. So a big goal of mine is that I want to post more videos on my YouTube channel within this year than I've ever done before. And I want to work on more films. I want to work on at least four to five more film projects this year. Not this year. No way. I want to work on more than that. But we'll just put that number as like the smallest, like five film projects. I'm probably going to work on more but five is like my goal. I want to work on being more selfless. I don't think I'm a horribly selfish person, but I think every single person is selfish in many ways, and I want to be less selfish. I just want people to know how much I love them because like I said earlier, everybody's life is borrowed time, and I don't want anybody spending their borrowed time feeling like they aren't loved, so. I want to spread love more this year. I also want to grow more with my relationship with God. My entire life has been ups and downs with my relationship with God. That's that's kind of what all life is, is just ups and downs. But this video is like so poetic and I don't mean it in like a super poetic way. I think it just it just kind of comes out in a poetic way because because everything I'm talking about is like super duper emotional and like so human and so on and so forth. But yeah. Oh. 
Shoot, I almost forgot. My biggest goal for 2019 is to find me. I feel like I haven't found her yet. And I've been trying to figure out who is Sierra? Is she this? Is she that? I mean, like, I know what I like, if that makes sense, but I don't think I've really figured out who I am completely. Who am I? I don't know, but I'm gonna figure out this year, so. Anyways, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys liked it. If you guys did, please hit the like button, subscribe down below. I really do wanna hit 500 this year. If you guys want, I would love it if you guys did. Uh, comment down below what your 2018 was like. What are some lessons that you learned? What are some goals that you're setting for yourself in 2019? Please let me know. I actually want to know, so please let me know down below. And please just have a nice 2019. I hope that you guys all stay positive and just remember that you are the only you in this world and there is a reason that you are here. This is just the most corniest video I've ever made in my life, isn't it? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching and taking the time out of your day to watch. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.